Hello everyone, for today we are going to talk about how to run correlation analysis in Jamovi. First, let me define to you what correlation is. So correlation is a statistical technique that is used to measure and describe the relationship between two variables because variables in the surroundings are related most of the time. For example, the higher the amount of perseverance, it means that there's a higher amount of resilience. The higher the number of good things happening to you, the higher your life satisfaction. On the other hand, the greater the number of your personal problems, then the lower the amount of your life satisfaction. So there are a number of things that we can correlate in order for us to scientifically answer research questions. And for today, I'm going to teach you Pearson R analysis. And Pearson R is used when you are correlating two continuous variables, meaning you are using this when you're dealing with interval as well as ratio data. Now, let me elaborate on the strength and direction of correlation. Now, we can see that strength of relationship varies. There are weak relationships, while at the same time, there are strong relationships. But sometimes, there are perfect relationships in statistical analysis. So, look at this example here at the bottom of the slide. Okay, In this example on the left side, the hours of studying is related to exam scores and their degree of correlation is moderate. Okay. On the right side, there are also instances wherein if you do the same study in your own school, you may find out that hours of studying is not so much related to exam scores. Perhaps there's something else that would explain exam scores. So it means that relationships varies or differs when it comes to strength. And let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is a chart that you can use in interpreting the strength of relationship. I got this from the book of Fox and Levin. And this is saying to us that correlation coefficients range from negative 1 to positive 1. Okay, so if someone tells you that the correlation is 2, then that's no longer believable because correlation is only from negative 1 to positive 1. And the closer it is to 1, the stronger it is, regardless of the sign. So in telling if a relationship is strong is or not, you don't have to look at the sign because the sign is the one telling us about the direction. So we'll talk about direction later. So now let's look at the right part of the screen. So if there is no correlation, their correlation would be zero. But if it's getting stronger, it's going to change from 0.1, from 0.3, from 0.6. And then if a relationship is perfect, then the coefficient or the R is equal to 1. Same goes for the negative correlation. Only this time, the sign is negative. Why is it that there's a negative and there's a positive correlation? Let's talk about that in the next slide. So when we say positive relationship, then this would be an example. So in positive relationship, as one variable goes up, the other goes up as well. For example, the more you study, the higher your grades will be. That's a positive correlation. On the other hand, we also have what we call negative correlation. So when you say negative correlation, as one variable increases, the other variable decreases. For example, here in Manila, the greater the amount of heavy traffic, the lower our life satisfaction will be because that's a problem for us. While some variables, you thought that they are correlated, back, but actually they are not, then they're going to show no correlation. Okay. If you want additional explanation about correlations, I may discuss that in another video. For now, let's take a look at a sample research study that we can answer using correlation. The question here is that, does family income influence the average grade of the student? That's a good question to ask, especially if you are working in a school. Are the students coming from families who have higher income? Are they also more likely to do better compared to those who came from low-income families? That's a good research question to ask in your school if you're doing research. So now we can answer that with correlation. Then let's state the hypothesis. The null hypothesis would be there's no relationship between the two. But the alternative hypothesis is that there is a relationship between family income and grade. And if you want to specify, I would say that there's a positive relationship. So now we are looking at Jamovi and you have a dummy data here that I encoded. 
let me show you the details of these variables. So the first variable is family income in 1,000 PHP or 1,000 Philippine pesos. This would be their monthly income. So basically, the first family, they only make 31,000 monthly. The last family here, they make 100, 174,000 every month. So this would be um, in continuous. It falls on the ratio. And the other hand, our second variable would be the average grade of the student. And grade usually is considered interval. So that would also fall under continuous. Okay, so now that you know the details of our variables, we are now ready to run the analysis. Click on regression, then select correlation. Here on the pop-up screen, make sure to click on both variables, then drag them from left going to right, and then let the computer run the analysis. And then we can check report significance. We can check flag significant correlations. And the type of correlation is Pearson. Spearman is used when you are correlating ranks or ordinal data now our hypothesis is that they are correlated you can also choose correlated positively but i will discuss the implications of this in another lecture so now looking at the results we can see to interpret this we must find where where the two variables intersect so we can find family income here the first variable it intersects with average grade here so this would be the r or the coefficient of correlation and we can see that it doesn't have a negative sign so this is positive and the value is 0.65 which means that this is a strong correlation other than that you can see an asterisk here so meaning our correlation analysis is significant so now we are ready to interpret our results now we are done with our analysis and our decision is that we will reject the null hypothesis because we were able to prove that there is a relationship between the two variables then let me give you a sample interpretation in words this would mean there is a strong positive relationship between family income and the student's average grade remember to put the coefficient here and then after this you can explain it in layman's term you can say it as as family income increases then there's a higher chance for the student to get a higher grade so that is it for correlation analysis i hope that you were able to learn a lot from this discussion so let me know if you want me to talk about other types of analysis that we can do using jamovi that's it thank you